planning your next vacation, you may be looking to fly to your destination. But as we all know, airline tickets can be pricey and quickly cut into your vacation budget. We travel a lot to get to places such as Disney World, and today I personally want to share with you how I always find the cheapest flights every time we travel. So hit that like button and let's get on into it. The first way I find cheap flights is through a site called Skyscanner. Skyscanner is a site that allows you to put in your beginning and final destination as well as your travel dates and shows you all of the airline options and costs of each of the flights. Personally, I love doing this every time we're going to travel. I like to go in, put in our beginning and final destinations, and also see what dates we're going to be flying. And it shows me every type of airline, every type of cost, and it keeps me from having to go individually to all of the airline sites to compare prices. It is a one-stop shop that will show you all of your options and give you a good idea of where you should go and how you should fly to your destination. There's also a calendar view that will show you with different colorings what the prices are looking like, what days are more expensive, what days are least expensive. So if you're still in the planning process and you don't quite know what days you are wanting to travel, this is a great little thing to use that will show you what some of the cheapest days are to fly so it could potentially impact when you are flying to help you save some money on your flights. As I mentioned earlier, we fly to Disney World a lot, so we're frequently going from Pittsburgh to Orlando. So I want to show you an example of how I would use Skyscanner to find a cheap flight. Here we go. So I have my starting destination, which is Pittsburgh. And then of course, we're going to be flying to Orlando. We always fly into the Orlando International Airport. And then I would go, if I didn't know exactly when I wanted to travel, I'd click on the calendar date and it would show me all of the dates and what the prices are kind of looking like. So I like to look at the different colorings. So if I'm scrolling through and just seeing, I like to look at obviously the green dates. So we're scrolling through and we're just going to choose, for example, these select dates in July. So we see July 5th to the 8th and we're going to go ahead and click search. So I like doing that because that's probably the cheapest time that I could fly if I didn't know exactly when I wanted to go. And then here I give it a little bit of time to let it search through and find all of the options. So I'm going to scroll down now and you see a lot of different options. There's a lot of spirit flights. So it has some round trip options here. I'm just going to scroll down through and do more flights. So here it's going to start showing some combinations as well, which is nice. So say I wanted to fly with Spirit first, but then there might be a cheaper or a different flight option on Allegiant. So it would pair those two together. So you can see there's a lot of different options that I can go with. There's a Delta flight that I could choose, but I'm going to go up to the very first option and show you how that works. So we're going to select this option here. Then once you select what flight you want to choose and what combination, it's going to actually take you to a bunch of different ways that you can book. So this is good for you if you have a particular way that you like to book. Sometimes I like to personally book just through the airline to make it a little easier, but in case you wanted to book through Travelocity or Priceline, any of those options, you could do that as well. So I'm going to just go through Spirit Airlines directly through the airline. So it's going to take a little bit of time and then it's going to pair you with your ticket and then you can go ahead and continue to book your flight as you usually would. So you can go through there and just choose what the option was. So I would just choose the standard um, ticket that I was going to be choosing before and then I click it and then it's going to show me the flight option and I can continue through with the standard pricing. I'm sure you could also play around with this a little bit. So on Spirit it was the exact price but maybe on Priceline it might be a little cheaper on Travelocity might be a little cheaper. So that is something that you could play with, but I do just go through the direct flight site. So that's one way you can find cheap flights. I'll encourage you, I have a link below to Skyscanner that you can personally click on now and customize your flight the way you want if you're in the planning process. So take a look and see how you could find a cheap flight. The second way I'm gonna recommend is through a site called Skiplag. I absolutely love Skiplag. I use it every time that I go to book a flight. And what Skiplag is, it's similar to Skyscanner, but in particular, Skiplag will go ahead and show you the exact cheapest flights and ways to go to your final destination. And it's gonna pull out the particular routes and hidden cities to help you find the cheapest flights. If you aren't familiar with what a hidden city is, essentially a hidden city flight is when you are going to get on with the intention to stop at the layover rather than the intended final destination. Here's an example of how we have personally used a hidden city flight in the past while using Skiplag. So we wanted to fly from Charlotte to Pittsburgh, but for some reason the direct flights were 
were so expensive. So I went on skip lagged and I typed in Charlotte to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I chose the dates that we were wanting to go. And then from there, it picked out all of the different flights and which were the cheapest options. And there was a flight on American that was from Charlotte to Washington DC, but had a layover in Pittsburgh. This option was significantly cheaper than the direct flight from Charlotte to Pittsburgh. So what we did is we chose that flight on skip lagged and we went ahead and just got off at Pittsburgh rather than going to the final destination of Washington DC. I love that skip lag does this and this is a perfect thing to do for you. If you are looking to find a cheap flight, go ahead and go in on skip lag, type in your first destination and your final destination and your travel dates and it'll help you to see if there's any hidden cities or ways that you can find a cheaper flight. It also will sort it out based on airline for you so you can customize your flight that way. I also like that they have this little trending line that shows when flight prices are cheaper and when they are more expensive. So still, if you're in the planning process, you can still take a look at that and see when it's cheaper to fly. Another huge perk of skip lag is they actually allow you to accumulate travel credits. So as you are spending money through skip lag, you actually can get some rewards dollars that will go towards future flights and it's also nice whenever you book your flight through skip lag, you also get points for the corresponding airline that you are flying on. So there's kind of a way that you can get two points at once. So I'll encourage you, I have a link below that if you sign up through that link, it will give you some free travel credit just for creating an account. So go ahead and check out that link below and play around with it and see if you can find a cheap flight for your next vacation. These are two of my favorite ways to find cheap flights. I use them every time we go on vacation to Disney World or wherever else we are traveling too. So I have both of the links pinned in the pinned comment below as well as the description bar. So I encourage you to go and play around with it and see how you can find a cheap flight. We do frequently fly Spirit Airlines a lot and I know there's a lot of negative connotations with that airline, but there's some tips I want to share with you to help save you money when flying on Spirit. So I'm going to direct you to this video here. Enjoy saving some money in your travel budget and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys!